Hey, so here's the thing, right? I was gonna get really cute for this video and like put on makeup and do my hair and then I was like, why would I do that? That ain't me. I wanna talk to y'all about what I've learned this year. Usually every year, if you're not familiar, I do a little recap, I do a little sentimental thing. Last year, I made a couple people cry. Go watch 2017's recap. But this year, I wanna change things up. I'm coming to you from my living room in New Jersey in my pajamas with my hair doing whatever it wants to do. And I know y'all won't judge me for it, right? So when I think of 2018, I think of love. I think of how much I am love, how much I have love for myself, how much I am able to give love to others, and I am love. This year started off with the best birthday ever. I turned 24, I'll be turning 25 January 5th, hey. That was the first birthday in a really long time where I genuinely, it was perfect. My best friends surprised me with an Airbnb that was super me and my style and so eccentric and eclectic and all of the words that you can think of. The next day, Justin took me paintballing and I've never been paintballing and we had so much fun and then we had an amazing Amazing vegan dinner. That cake was so good. And then the next day, Lauren took me to the spa and we had a whole spa day. And honestly, just throughout this entire year, I felt like I've really... Foxy. I felt like I've really understood what love is and giving and receiving it. I wasn't lying, y'all. I'm fully in pajamas. Sorry if you can hear Foxy. She wants to be the star of the show all the time. All the time? All the time. So with the whole love thing being said, self-care. Self-care is a lesson I'm still learning. I love to work, I love to get things done, I love to-do lists. Hi, I'm a Capricorn, hello. And sometimes I forget what self-care looks like or what that means. And this year, I think I've really taken charge of that in the most shameless way. Don't get me wrong, still practicing, still learning. But I've gotten so much better at just being like, no, sorry not sorry, I wanna go do this. I don't wanna do that. I've gotten better at voicing what my needs are. Y'all haven't started practicing this? You need to. I'm really learning what self-care means for me, whether that is yoga, whether that is meditating, whether that is writing, reading, all of the above. My spiritual journey in general has honestly just expanded to a level that I didn't even see coming and it just makes me really excited for the future. I just feel myself getting more and more aligned with who I am and my purpose. And I feel like by practicing self-care, that purpose is becoming clearer and clearer every single day. I have explored a lot, and I mean in a lot of ways. Physically, mentally, spiritually, like we already talked about. And just in every way possible. You're really killing my vibe. Can you just, just for two seconds? I love you. We're going to walk later. I feel like my hair looks crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you do your hair? I feel like I've met so many new faces and gone so many new places and I did not mean for that to rhyme. I've truly understood what the saying, nothing changes if nothing changes, means. I took a lot of leaps, but I think they all paid off. I attended my first fashion week in New York. I went to my first Art Basel in Miami. I told myself that this year, every single month, I would go somewhere new, and I literally did it. If you go to my Instagram and look at my highlights, I have one for every single month. I went somewhere new, experienced something new, and met new people and I am so, so grateful for that. I spoke at my first conference as an influencer, which was crazy. I went to Colombia, y'all, and I went to Guatemala, and both countries, honestly, were two totally different experiences, and both had such a purpose in my life. It was unbelievable. They both changed me in beautiful ways. I went to Colombia with Nick. We had a blast, a little too much fun, maybe. Went to Guatemala with my mom and had a super cultural, spiritual experience. Y'all know traveling is my heart and soul and that is when I'm truly at my happiest, when I have a camera in my hand and I'm traveling and I'm just very grateful for these opportunities. And who knows where 2019 is gonna take me. I've already started looking up some flights. So I had to throw this one in here and I didn't really want to at first, but I kind of didn't realize it until right now that yeah, trust was definitely a lesson this year. I've dealt with some betrayals, I've dealt with some drama, dealt with a lot of things off camera that you guys don't know about. I dealt with bank account fraud. This honestly was a big turning point for me. In July, I had probably one of the lowest points I've had in a long time and I'm very glad that it happened. I was at a place where I was totally chasing money, totally just concerned with money 24 seven, that I didn't have enough of it, that I wanted more of it. I I was struggling and it just seemed like I was just in this storm that was never ending. My car broke down, then I had bank account fraud. It was just 
drama. But it needed to happen. Deception is one of the biggest lessons. You may think something is totally one way and it's completely not. It's very easy to make up things in your head and make assumptions and paint this pretty picture in your head that looks nothing like reality. And so I'm grateful for the wake up call. I'm grateful that I now no longer have that attachment to money. Money can no longer have power over my mood and my life and my everything because at one point it did. Money no longer has the power to do that to me. <sighs> do y'all see how luxurious my mom's room is? I feel like I've learned to be shameless and comfortable in my own skin. I started a GoFundMe, which was honestly the scariest thing in the world for me. I'm very prideful at times, and I just am an independent kind of person. To ask for help, and especially ask for money from strangers, was something that felt so beneath me. Like, I can do this all by myself, I don't need anyone's help, and the truth is, I did. And I can't even believe that that all happened. Thinking back to that. I'm speechless that I was able to raise that much money in that amount of time and that many people cared. And it really made me like, oh wow, what is fear? It doesn't have to be this big, ugly, scary thing that you can't jump over. It's only as powerful as you allow it to be. I just totally empowered me. Because if I'm doing anything else, what am I doing? So the very last and final thing, the biggest lesson learned, and that I, again, I'm still practicing all of these things, still learning, still practicing, but this right here, this is the key. Being present is the best present. I am such a worry freak. I'm so good at ruining the now over tomorrow. I'm so good at getting worked up at things that haven't even happened yet. So this is my message to you. If you can't take anything else from this video, I want you to take away this. Be present, be right in this moment right now now there is no better time than now there is nowhere else to be but now right here in the now how many times can i say now <laughs> this has created such peace in my life that i am so glad i was able to discover now just said now again <laughs> because you realize how easy it is to be everywhere but where your body is really try to as much as you can you feel yourself going this way and that way and everywhere but here take a deep breath and come back right here. That is my biggest message to anyone in 2019, wholeheartedly, be nowhere else but here. So that's it, that is all. We are closing out 2018, being present, being empowered, trusting more, loving ourselves, exploring more, everything, all of it. Because anything is possible, and I think that is honestly the motto I've embedded in my head this year. Good things, bad things, all of it, and I'm accepting all of it. Honestly, that bank account fraud thing really taught me that. You know, I'm living in this, oh, oh, oh everything's fine. It can never happen to me. Anything is possible. But that doesn't necessarily mean only bad things. Great things are possible too. It's all possible is my point. So comment down below three things that you learned this year. They could be big things, small things, doesn't matter. I just want to know some lessons that you've learned in 2018. Thank you guys so much for all of the love and support throughout this entire year. As always, I feel some big changes coming because change is constant. We have so much to look forward to and I really hope that you feel that same way about yourself and your journey because it is what you make of it. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you're following me on all social media platforms to stay up to date. And yeah, guys, I wish you a safe and happy new year and I will see you in 2019. Bye!